how to turn ordinary pipe cleaners, coffee filters, seashells, pom-poms or cotton balls into crystal covered Christmas tree ornaments. Let's see what's cooking, it's time for yo -yo Banks 12. Hi everybody. First thing I'm gonna show you is how I prepared each of those little objects before I decided to cover them with the crystals. First one is to make snowflakes. That is a coffee paper filter. Flatten it out and you're gonna fold it in half four times until you end up with a little cone shape or a triangle shape, whatever you wanna call it. Now, if you want this small enough to fit into a Christmas tree, you'll have to cut off a bit of it. I cut off about an inch and a half, but you can make them whatever size you'd like. And then just like making any cut out paper snowflake, you're gonna go along the edge of that little cone and cut out different shapes. And once you're done, you open it up and you will have your completed snowflake. And we're gonna set that aside for a little bit later. Now for those other shapes for the tree ornaments, I used chenille stems or pipe cleaners as we, what we call them here. And I twisted three white ones together and then added a separate little piece on the end of each of the little rays of that star kind of going outwards to make it look like a snowflake. Now for the star, I used a yellow pipe cleaner and I just folded it around a star shaped cookie cutter. And when you pull it off, you end up with the shape of the cookie cutter. It's a quite ingenious way of doing it. Just like that. And for a candy cane, twist a red and a white one together. And at first I wrapped it around this candy cane cookie cutter just to do the same thing as I did for the star. But when I was done, I found that it was a bit too wide and a bit too thick. So I just kind of played with it and made a narrow shaped candy cane. So there are the three shapes that I made. I also tried to make these little snowballs. So to do that, I used a white pom-pom. It's just a little craft pom-pom that came in a package with a bunch of different colors and sizes. I ran a white thread through it with a little knot at the end. And then I threaded two more on there. You can also use cotton balls for this. The next step is to make the solution of the borax and water that we're gonna to use to grow the crystals on the objects we just prepared. You need some boiling water and the amount of water you use will depend on how many jars and containers you need to fill. You need some borax. Borax is a mineral. It is sold here in these kinds of boxes under the brand name 20 Mule Team. It is sold in the grocery store next to the laundry detergent and it's used as a natural deodorizer, laundry booster, as a toilet bowl cleaner. It's used as a cleaning agent. You need to mix the borax in with the water. About three tablespoons of borax per one cup of water. You need to make a super saturated solution. So put your borax into the boiling water and stir it until it dissolves as much as possible. The water will get kind of cloudy, but you should, shouldn't have too much of the borax in the bottom of the container. Then pour it into a jar or a glass or something. I'm using mason jars, which is perfect for this kind of a thing. You can add some food coloring to your solution as well. And then you're gonna tie a little string or a thread or some fishing line or whatever you wanna use to your little ornament and then put it into the jar. Make sure you have enough solution in the jar so that whatever you're trying to coat with crystals is completely freely hanging in the solution and it's not touching the bottom or the sides of your container. Tie the string to a pencil or a pen, put that across the top of the container and then let it sit. To make the coffee filter snowflakes, put the snowflake in a shallow dish or a bowl or a plate and cover it completely with solution. And then let that sit. Here are just a few of the objects that I used. I did a few of the paper coffee filter snowflakes. I did some in jars, the stars. Uh, one of them I put two in, I put a candy cane and a snowflake in. And you let these sit for between three and eight hours, depending how big you want the crystals to be. You should be getting crystals forming fairly quickly. Within a couple of hours, you sh they should be quite visible on the objects in the solution. I let mine sit for about three and a half hours and I found that it was a really nice sized crystals. So after your crystals have grown to as big as you want them to be, pour off the solution. And when you're dealing with the coffee filter snowflakes, just pry them off the bottom of the plate very gently because they will be stuck on there with crystal growth. 
pry them off gently and put them on a piece of paper toweling to dry. And don't worry about the plates with the crystals stuck to them. You run it under hot water and they just come off like nothing. It really is not a big deal. Cleanup is really, really easy. And for the rest of them, you just pull them out of the solution, put them on paper towels to dry or let them hang to dry, and then just remove the string that you used to hang them in the jars. Now this is another one. I didn't show the jar that I did this in, but I did try it with a seashell. The one on the left is the raw shell and the one on the right is the one that I let sit in the solution for about four hours. And I was so totally impressed on how that turned out. What I did is I just made a little hole in the shell and I added a piece of string and I'm just removing the string here and then it's ready to hang on your tree with a little tree hanger or a decorative piece of uh, string. And here they are completed candy cane snowflake. These are super sparkly. It's hard to really to tell by looking at photos and it's hard to get that sparkle in a photograph but they really are sparkly. Now this one this yellow one was about four hours and the blue one was overnight so you can see that it's a bit thicker than the other ones. And now I'm going to show you some close-ups of those crystals. They are beautiful. They're li little cubic crystals and they are so cool to look at and your finished result is so so interesting. And if you're careful with these and wrap them in some tissue paper and when you put them away every year, there's no reason why you can't reuse these year after year as long as they don't get wet. Now for seashells, keep in mind that the works this works well with rough seashells. I tried this with a super smooth shell and they didn't work very well with this super smooth shell. This is a snowflake that was let sit for one hour. You can see the crystals are tiny. This snowflake I let sit for about three and a half hours. The crystals are a lot bigger and it's a lot more sparkly. And this one I let sit overnight and there wasn't a whole lot of a difference between the four hour and the overnight for that one. These are four that I made. The top at the right hand corner is the one I did in the blue solution. So you can see that coloring the water doesn't really make a whole heck of a lot of difference with these. And finally, it's the little pom-poms. These ones I loved because the pom-pom has lots of little hairs sticking out and each of the little hairs gathered their own little crystals. It's almost looked like a little crystal chandelier with those beautiful little crystals hanging off the end. I really enjoyed making these and I was going around the house looking for objects that I could cover with crystals because it's just so easy and so fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you give these a try. Now, if you're looking for another way to use up some of that box of borax that you're going to buy to make this craft, why don't you try this one? It's got nothing to do with Christmas, but it certainly is a fun activity that you can do with the kids and it'll keep them busy during the Christmas vacation. It is play slime or flubber. So go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the description box to watch. Bye-bye.